guys welcome back to my channel i'm your lovely host here gg face and guys do i have a treat for you today we are going to decorate well i'm going to show you how that i've decorated this beautiful tree behind me so stick around grab your coffee your tea or whatever it is that you're choosing to drink sit back and relax we are really falling into fall and we can't do it without a fall tree i love decorating my trees for fall as well as I do for Christmas. This is a um, seven foot uh, tree that I purchased from Michaels a few years ago. This was one that I had at my home. The one that I normally use here started to do a lot of shedding. So when I start shedding, it's time to get rid of them. And this tree is actually number 132 um, at Michaels and I've had it for a couple of years. And I just love the way it's fitting in this corner. I've got a little glam, rustic vibe going on over there, but I'm gonna also show you guys how I've decorated the rest of the office. So, I need for you, grab your coffee, your tea, and a snack, sit back and relax. And for me, I need for you to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment in the comment section, share this video out if you like, and I would love to have you as part of this family. It's real easy. Just hit the subscribe button. Make sure you tap the notification bell twice so you never miss out on a video that is created on this channel. It is fall time. I will have a lot of content coming to you guys. I need to do some things at home. I need to do my front porch. So I'm going to be busy for these next few weeks. So I need you guys to ride with me. Keep watching. Enjoy and be blessed. This is the tree that I'm using, uh, 132 from Michaels. So what I'm doing here is just basically fluffing the tree as I go. So each section that I put up, I give it a good fluffing. And that way, by the time I reach the top, it is pretty much done. As you can see, I have turned my lights on and you want to do that before you start decorating. It would be a shame to decorate and then realize your lighted tree doesn't work or you didn't hook up a section correctly. So I usually try to test out my lights before I start to decorate.
this moment. The water's cold. I wish I'd known this road isn't the easiest. I want to know what you told in your mind when you're standing by my side. We could be easily.
Okay, guys, we are here at the reveal, and I am sharing with you this entryway table that I decided to place this swag. You see those three hydrangeas there, those swag. Placed um, a piece of garland across the top, brought in this wicker basket or wicker tray, and then I've added in the mercury glass vase that you see there, placed a bouquet of flowers in it. Alongside, I've placed plenty of pumpkins and granary in that basket, brought the lamp in for the ambiance, placed pumpkins on each side, and then created this most beautiful arrangement here with another one of those hydrangeas. Now that hydrangea is absolutely gorgeous. But this that we're looking at right here is the dismantling of the garland that I had earlier in the video and I've just added it as picks inside of um, this vase here with that gorgeous hydrangea with a beautiful texture and colors just so beautiful it is so lifelike and it's one of the most beautiful hydrangeas I've seen um, over time and I don't even remember where I purchased it from um, but inside this arrangement I've added some of my um, winter picks that I've used for Christmas. I just decided to place them inside here. That gives that, um, that glam feel with the, um, shimmer and shine. And then I brought over to my tree. I've added in some more of, now these are actually picks here. And I think I purchased these from either Hobby Lobby or Michaels. And but I'm leaning more towards um, Hobby Lobby because I think they had a wreath made of that same those same picks. But here I've added in some pine cones, the pine cone picks for that rustic feel. And then this gorgeous leaf um, pick here is one that I've I've placed three inside the tree here on today. But I normally use these at Christmas time. These are absolutely beautiful. I purchased these from um, a place. Uh, in the Carolinas that's called Dwayne's and they have the most beautiful Christmas decor that I've ever witnessed to see. These little pumpkins here are my velvet pumpkins that I've purchased from um, the Dollar Tree uh, last year and year before. I think last year I bought all that I saw that they had because it was like the year before I went to get some and they didn't have many. So whenever I went, went in the early part of last year, I was able to get quite a few of those pumpkins. But all I've done here is just added in picks of elegance. I've added in picks of rusticness. I've added in uh, pumpkins and just made such a beautiful, beautifully decorated tree. I am so pleased with the outcome. Guys, please let me know what you think of this beautiful fall tree. Now that um, picture that you see there in the corner, I was going to place it on the wall right about there, um, but I could not locate my hammer, so I was tired of looking. I just said, I'll just place it in the corner and I'll hang it later. I think the guys may have borrowed my hand, uh, hammer and forgot to return it, but I think everything is just um, working very well, so cohesive. Now, this is the before um, lobby and this is the after. I've just added in a few pumpkins, a few picks, um, and then just went across this top ledger wall here and placed some more garland just to bring life into this space. Um, my customers love to see my seasonal decor, so I could not disappoint them again. So here we are, um, the garland that you can purchase from Hobby Lobby, Michaels, Joann's, anywhere. I mostly get mine from Hobby Lobby because they have a a huge selection of differences of and it's so full and I just love theirs so I usually get mine from Hobby Lobby and I just placed it on this um, half wall here and so guys I hope you have enjoyed this um, little room tour or my fall tree and all that I have done to decorate the office space um, home away from home and uh, when I'm at home, I love to have things that are beautiful and I love to look at in the same here. So guys, I'm going to leave you to the music and let you finish watching my tree and 
um, just enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share. That's all I ask, and I am super grateful for your clicking the button. Be blessed. See?